What's good everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video today, ladies and gentlemen. We have a very special video for you guys today. I was thinking the other day, I was sitting there and I actually was thinking about it and I was wondering to myself, you know, how many freaking figures has Mattel made? How many, not, not figures, not total figures, I'm not including basics, battle packs, you know, special figures like that. Guys, we're diving strictly into Elites and Ultimates today and we're going to try and count them all up. I was wondering the other day, I was just kind of thinking about Ruthless aggression figure specifically and I was like dude what if I count out every single figure and find out how many specifically have they made from each era and then compare them all and then find out you know maybe how many they've made overall and kind of compare them all together and you know compare the different eras and things of that nature to see the the ones that maybe they need to make more of maybe they need to make less of maybe they need to kick up on or whatever the hell the case is guys well let's go ahead and dive into it so as you guys know WWE Mattel does have their main elite line this is our main elite Elite series from 1 through 83 now and I don't include 84 in this this is all from uh, main elite waves from 1 to 83 as well as you know I'm sure I've left out some I'm pretty sure I've missed a couple series here and there I call myself double checking you know triple checking all the different series all the different exclusives all the different store exclusives all the different mail aways every single figure I literally did my best to count up every single elite from network spotlight defining moments survivor series royal rumble legends figures hall of fames all of that stuff. I tried my best to compile all of the list here today, and I think I have got a pretty good grasp of it. I'm sure I'm a few numbers off, maybe even a few more than that. I'm not exactly sure, guys, but let's go ahead and dive in. So you guys know they have the main elite line, and that is from 1 to 83. So how I did this was any figure that was made at that specific time around that current era, I put that in current. So for current, there's three different waves. You guys know that Mattel started out, I think it was January 1st, 2010, Mattel took over production of WWE action figures and the new lineup was introduced on January 1st, 2010 on WWE.com. I'm pretty sure if I'm not mistaken, but I'm going from that current era. So we have three different eras here. You have the PG era, which is around 08 to 13, and then you have the reality era, which was around 14 to 16, 2014 to 16, that is. And then you have the new era or whatever the hell we're in today, which is around 2016 to the current product that we're seeing on TV. So the Mattel line has ran from 2010 up until 2020, so the last 10 years. So any figure that was made that was around the current product in in the main elite line I went ahead and put it under current so current is going to have the most figures because they're not tying back to the ruthless aggression era they're not tying back to the attitude era they're not tying back to the new generation era or the golden age so what we're going to do guys is we're just going to dive in starting out with the current era so for the current era guys in the PG era which was around 08 to 2013 Mattel came in at about 196 figures now again this could be a little bit off I could be off by a certain amount, but I feel pretty confident in it. This was all the way up to, I don't remember where I cut the wave off, but I tried to keep it in line with those years, 2013 and 2014. So this runs up all the way up till 2014. In 2014 to 2016, you had the reality era, and Mattel came in at 139 figures for this era of time. So from uh, where the main elite line cut off at 2013 into 2014, that is where the reality era started, and it ran up to 139. And then as far as it's concerned, as far as 2016 into 2020 or to the current day it, they have done 253 figures I honestly feel like that number kind of kicked up and I'm sure that's because of all the different exclusives and stuff I feel like more exclusives come out now we get more figures nowadays and you know more figures around the current product nowadays so maybe that's the case of why there's so many or maybe it's just because there's more years as well so yeah that is the current so the current total elites out of every single wave, all the exclusives and all of that that revolve around current figures that are around the current times from 2010 to 2020 it comes out to 588. So since Mattel has taken over, they have made 588 current elites of talent that is on TV at the time of production of those figures. Now again, I'm sure I'm off by a few numbers, but that is the number that I estimated to come up with and I did my best to get that accurate. Now, this is where it got interesting for me is because I wanted to go back and I want to say, Damn, man, how many Ruthless Aggression figures have they really made? So if we kick it back, guys, Ruthless Aggression era total figures that they have made that are about figures from that era, 
you know, in the specific time, in the specific period, the specific attires or moments from the Ruthless Aggression era. The total number of figures comes out to 60 elite Mattel figures. Of course, the Ruthless Aggression era runs from around 02 till 2008, and that came in at 60, which actually surprised me. I didn't, uh, I thought that it would actually be less than that. But I guess after you add it up, you know, there's three different Triple H's from the Ruthless Aggression era. You have a couple edges in there. You got some Mick Foley's. You have your John Cena's. There's a few John Cena's in there. Randy Orton. So, you know, it, it kind of adds up, but a lot of the characters are repetitive. But, you know, that's just what you get when you don't have a lot of guys under contract. So, 60 Ruthless Aggression eras, guys. Going back into the Attitude era, which, of course, is around the mid-90s until about 2001. This total number came into 89. So, there's 29 more elites or so in the Attitude Era that revolve around the Attitude Era compared to the Ruthless Aggression Era. I'm pretty sure this is just due to them having more contracts, more access to talents, more guys being under merchandise deals and specifically action figures to Mattel. So I'm sure that's what this has to do with. But Attitude Era figures did come at number 89. Going back into the New Generation Era, guys, this is around the early 90s to the mid 90s, right before the Attitude Era. This came in at 68. Now, I honestly thought this would be much more, but the uh, New Generation Era did come in around 68 total figures. You know, Shawn Michaels has a ton of figures from around this time, and there are a, quite a few characters that have been made around this era. And then lastly, guys, we have the Golden Era or the Golden Age. I also have another... Uh, another category real quick, but for Golden Age or the Golden Era, guys, this this actually astounded me. It's 107 figures, but I guess the reason that it is 107 figures in the Golden Era is gonna be because there's so many flashbacks. You know, you have the Hall of Fames, you have the Legend series, you have the specific dates that are, you know, supposed to get those flashbacks in there, those specific waves that are targeted towards flashbacks, and you guys know they throw a flashback in um, every once in a while into the main Elite line, so the flashback figures really go heavy. Of course, the flashbacks can still include the new generation, the attitude, the ruthless aggression, but I feel like when you revolve around flashbacks, it's going to go way, way back, and that is what they did here with 107 total figures. There's so many damn guys, I feel like. Like, there's so many there. There's so many guys in that era that they've made, I feel like, and of course, there are more that they haven't made, but when you consider all those legends and Hall of Fames, it, it can easily add up on you. And then lastly, guys, I do have, there's a throwback section. There was like three guys in there that didn't really specifically fit into any of these, but they had their own. There's about three guys in there. Terry Funk was in ECW. His ECW figure was in there. And then the last wave is the WCW figure. So WCW elites that we have made based off of WCW. That number is around 52 total elites. So that was pretty crazy as well. I'd honestly would love to see more WCW. If we can get more WCW, I'm all for the stings. And now that we got Hulk Hogan back, I'm sure we're going to get plenty of Hogans from around WCW and further. But overall, the, the whole reason I embarked on this journey to count up every single figure, and I'm going to give you the total number of elites that I have here at the end of the video, but the whole reason I did this is to find out how many Ruthless Aggression figures there were, because I, I was so curious to know exactly how many there were, and it came out to 60, so it actually holds true that they don't make as many Ruthless Aggression as they do for other figures. I know that it's only 8 behind the New Generation, but it's 29 behind the Attitude Era, and then it's like 40 plus behind the Golden Age or the Golden Era, so that is kind of insane, and it holds true. It does hold true that you know, the Ruthless Aggression era doesn't get as many figures, but it could be, again, because, you know, they, it's just repaints of other figures. But I honestly wouldn't mind repaints. I still hold true to this day that I want to see a Ruthless Aggression line. Um, a lot of figures in the, that came in this Ruthless Aggression era way that fit into that time frame, a lot of them were exclusives. Like, there were not a lot in the main Elite line. It was mainly... Fan Central, it was Defining Moments, it was Ringside Exclusives, so it seems like when there is Ruthless Aggression figures, it's usually an exclusive of some sort or some sort of store exclusive deal or something like that. But the total number of Elite figures that I have on my paper and Ultimate Editions, I did throw the Ultimate Editions in there as well, is 908 total Elite figures. Again, probably wrong. Probably 50 or so off, I bet. I bet I left out a few, but I did my total and, and complete best on this. Went through the whole main Elite line, went through the defining moments, like I said, went through every single ringside exclusive, all the legends, all the flashbacks, the mail aways, your your uh, your King Kong Bundy figure, I, I tried to get every single, the all-star two packs, I mean, dude, I covered it all, at least I did my best to, and I wrote it all down and got it out, so please leave me a like and a comment down below, guys, just to uh, help me out on this video, simply for all this work that I put into investigating this, because I actually, I, it took me probably three hours to count up all these, possibly even more.
But anyways, guys, before we get out of here, I do want to give a random shout-out, so let's go ahead and get into that real quick. So this shout-out is going to go to the wrestling guy, Chris Storm. He says, these customs are so sick, I might get COVID. And that made me chuckle a little bit, Brad, so I wanted to shout you out, man. Thank you so much for the comment. Let me know down below what the most surprising thing is about these numbers, guys. I would really appreciate it, and I would love to know what you guys think about that. But a huge shout-out to Chris Storm for that comment. That made me chuckle a little bit. Definitely stay safe, guys. Do not get COVID. But I thought that was pretty clever right there with the sick customs, and I appreciate appreciate the compliment, guys. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Let me know what you think of all of these figures. What figures do you want to see more of? Again, man, we need a Ruthless Aggression Era wave. There needs to be a whole wave. I know we got the Decade of Domination. Not all of those were Ruthless Aggression Era, but we need... Ruthless Aggression figures. We need Ruthless Aggression figures. Even if they're just repaints of guys, I just want figures of guys from the Ruthless Aggression era. Is that so hard to ask? Let me know what you think of that down in the comment section below, guys. But I'm getting out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. You crossed the line.